Hey, what's going on, folks? This is Demond K. Ross, Habit Finder Coach and Speaker. In my last video that I recorded, I talked about fear. And we talked about the acronym false expectations appearing real and changing that view into focused expectation with action and results. One of the main things we talked about with fear was how most of it is something imaginary that we think about that causes us to be afraid of a situation, to be afraid of a moment, to be afraid to take action on our dreams, on our goals. And so this week I'm talking about apprehension, which is really closely related and linked to fear. Because apprehension is when we are hesitant about doing something, about proceeding with something, about saying something because of an anxiety or fear that exists, which also is rooted and based on something that's imaginary, something that has not happened, something that may possibly not even be in the realm of possibilities of happening. But we often find ourselves feeling apprehension when we're faced with doing a new task. And there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, there that's a normal reaction to have some apprehension. But we want to get to the point where that's a minimal thing. It's just not something that dictates our life. It's not something that we're faced with all of the time because what that does is it takes away from our natural abilities. It takes away from that expression that we can have in doing things and in, in wanting to see a better future, a better life for ourselves. I got a quote that I'm gonna read. I don't know how to say the person's name, so I'm just gonna read the quote. I'll put it in the description so you can see who it's from. But it says, yes, every venture is always filled with apprehensions. But if we were to conduct ourselves continuously on that aspect, then we would lose the most important reason to be in this profession, to challenge the art, the art of, and be part of what is commonly known as our creative instincts. And when I read that, it reminded me of my basketball days. Because for a lot of the years, a lot of times when I played basketball, and a lot of people don't know, I played with a lot of apprehension during those times because I was such a people pleaser that I never wanted to step on anybody else's toes. So I really played very conservatively and really made an extra effort to not try to do too much. Uh, and also, I didn't want to put myself in a position where I would do really well and then the expectation would be there all the time. And so I often held myself back. But I, I think back to the best games that I played, the best performances that I had. And it was always those times where I just let loose and I just let my natural abilities take over and I let my natural instincts take over. And I wasn't apprehensive about taking action about making a move or taking a shot or making a play or going for a steal. I just allowed the game to come to me and I played aggressively and I played without thinking of the outcome. And that's one of the things that we can really do to help ourselves from being apprehensive, from ex expressing and feeling apprehension towards going after our goals is being able to suspend the, the outcome, like just Put that out of your mind. Focus on the action. Focus on the target. Focus on the goal. But don't get caught up in what the outcome is going to be. The outcome is going to be what the outcome is going to be. We can't control the outcome. All we can do is control our behaviors and what we do. So if we can lose that sense of fear of imagining these outcomes and just surrender the outcome and just let our natural genius flow. I mean, think of the times where you've been pushed up, you know, not literally, but where you've been backed up against a wall and you had a deadline that was coming and you really need to get get that project done. Think about the clarity that we have in those moments and, and our ability to focus and just do the work. We lose all the apprehension that we had during all of the, the time that we had to get whatever it was done, whatever that project was or whatever it is you were trying to do but we lose all of that. So what if we are able to take that same mentality, that same thought uh, process of not worrying about the outcome? Because when your back's up against the wall, you're not thinking about the outcome. You're thinking just about the completion, about doing the work. 
and we can have some inc incredible, incredible focus and clarity in those times. And it's because we're in a position where it's not about the outcome, I've got to get this done. And if we take that approach with our goals, with our dreams, with you know whatever activities we find ourselves in, you'll see that that apprehension that kind of holds you back a little bit will start to subside and you'll be amazed at the wonderful things that you can accomplish and you can do in your life. This is Demon K. Ross saying, keep striving, stay humble, and always believe in you. Till next time.